Hi everyone, I'm Hannah Cousins and today I'm going to show you five different portrait looks all with just one light. So let's get going. As we said guys we're going to try and create for you five different portrait looks all with just one light today that kind of means if you're just starting out and you've only got one light there are various things that you can do now there's some other elements that i want to introduce to make sure that basically all these portraits just don't end up looking the same now the various things we can add are light shapers on the front different modifiers so we can control and shape the light the second thing is the background choice so we've got a white and a gray behind me here and let's see what we can do with those with light placement to try and create some different feeling the third thing is that we can introduce a different choice for the model's clothing to create a different feel from formal all the way down to very relaxed now i'm going to shoot all of this at home in my garage studio because um, we are on lockdown here in the uk due to coronavirus and it uh, also means that i don't have a model uh, so i've managed to rope in my other half to be our model for today so let's bring him in let's introduce him <laughs> This is Knut. Hello. This is my other half. He's usually the other side of the camera too, but today he's been super nice and said he's going to step up as our model. So let's see if we can make five different looks all with one night and one Knut. So I usually shoot with an A7R4, but actually that's at my studio, my main studio at work. So this is my R3, which is my, was my first camera and I absolutely love it. Uh, the good news is though, I do have my favorite lens with me, the 85 mil, I absolutely love it. It's so sharp and I love that focal distance between myself and the subject. I'm also gonna be using the Profoto TTL-S, so that's for Sony, so that's my, my trigger for my Profoto B10. The B10 is my absolute favorite. This is 250 watt seconds. You can use kind of any light for what we're doing today, but this is my light of choice. This goes everywhere with me. So this is my absolute favorite. So B10 it is. Let's talk super quick about settings. Now, what I'm gonna do here is just make sure that there is no ambient light coming in. As you can see, it's well lit in this room, but I need to make sure that all that ambient light is cut out so that when we start shooting, it's just the flash that's affecting our image. So my main settings, I'm on ISO 100. I'm gonna be around one, one, two, five on my shutter speed. And I'm gonna mix up my aperture a little bit. We somewhere, with, we're gonna start with about F8 and I might even, probably gonna drop down to about 2.8, just always making sure we control the ambient light. That's where we're gonna start. In terms of flash power, it really doesn't matter. What we're going to do is take a test shot on TTL first, that's through the lens metering, just to get a ballpark figure, switch to manual, and then we can control it from there to fine tune it exactly how we want it to. Let's talk super quick about modifiers. Now, that's my favorite way to shape the light. Today, I'm gonna to be using all the Profoto OCF range. And what I'm gonna be using is a two by three soft box, a one by three strip box, a silver beauty dish, and also a medium deep white umbrella with diffusion panel. So let's see what we can create with those. All right, so let's get going with look one. Now we're going for a bit more of a formal look here, and I'm gonna do something sort of, which might sound a bit weird, but I'm gonna shoot gray on gray. So what I mean by that is Knut's wearing a gray jacket, and I'm gonna photograph him on the gray background. Now in terms of my modifier choice, I'm going for a two by three softbox. Now, the reason I've chosen that is I want a bit more control over the light, so it's not going everywhere like an umbrella would. I can control it a bit more for direction. Um, and also, relative to the size of where I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna do waist upwards. It's quite a big light source relative to him, so basically we're gonna get a nice soft light. So, I've angled it down just a little bit, so I'm pushing all the shadows downwards. So I prefer a little bit of shadow on the face, but I like them to be pushing downwards. So Let's get going. So the first shot we're gonna take in TTL, as we said before, just to get us a ballpark figure of where it needs to be, and then we'll switch to manual and tweak it if we need to. So, all right, perfect. If you can, yeah, it's good. About three quarters, I think, there. And then maybe I might just push you a half step backwards, just so you, yeah, there we go. Just wanna make sure the light's hitting both cheeks here. Right, okay, let's take a test shot. So we're on TTL. Settings, are, as we said before, F8, 125, ISO 100. Okay, so perfect as you are, no stress. Let's just take a test shot. See what that gets us. Nice, it's done a good job. It's read the scene well, perfect. So we'll switch to manual just so we don't get any variety. Okay, cool, let's take another one here. Just move your head a little bit more. Nice and focused. Okay, perfect. Now I wanna give you, I wanna bring your arms in. I wanna give you something to do. So if you just bring your them up like this, perfect. And if I just want you to fiddle with your, yeah, just sort of with your cuffs and sort of all of that. Perfect, hold there. Lovely, well done. Just relax the shoulder a little bit. Good, now what I do wanna do is open your shoulder up here. So if you just relax this just a little bit down and I wanna try and make some separation. So turn your head, a, yeah, perfect. Just wanna make sure the beard line isn't cutting in. So 
good okay and actually actually fiddle with it so it looks natural otherwise it might look a bit stiff good nice job okay perfect and then yeah good looking down at what you're doing again keep looking down good nice one and then looking up to me now go perfect well done keep that head tilt just a little bit that way chin up just a fraction great just look down for a couple more keep fiddling keep moving your hands good turn the watch towards the light a bit for me if you can have good yeah nice tilt the head a little bit more good and look down again one more time nice i think we've got it nice perfect okay <laughs> super easy so that was really simple but one light formal look look one done Okay, so for look two, we're going for something a little bit more casual. As you can see, Knut has changed into a denim shirt. I'm gonna just have him sort of like leaning against the wall, a bit more casual than where we were before. You'll also notice that I've changed modifier. We've gone from a two by three soft box to a one by three strip box. And the reason for that is that the wall's white, there's lots of white around here, and I still wanna be able to sort of control the shadows on his face. And the strip box allows me to get a real narrow light pattern and allows me to do that. So let's jump back to here on our air remote and we're going to go back into TTL because we've changed modifier, changed location so I want to just sort of reset and go from there. So TTL but otherwise everything else is the same. We've got shutter speed 125 FA ISO 100. So let's have a look and see how we go. All right cool. So can you actually turn your shoulders over? so you're sort of leaning against the wall? Yeah good. Just keep your shoulders relaxed though that's what's really important here. Good nice one. Okay so first off let's just take our test shot and TTL. Okay, what's it giving us? Good, okay, I think we could do with just a little bit more light, so switch to manual and go half a stop up. Good, okay, perfect. Now I can already see that we need to move our light just a little bit as well. I just wanna bring it round just a tiny bit. So it's hitting the other cheek, just a little. Good, okay, that's better, good. All right, so just hang there for me. Good, okay, I kinda liked where, you were looking out here just a minute ago. Yeah, I kinda like that, that's good. Just hang there for me, good. Well done, just bring your eye line it's a bit more central. Yep, good, perfect, I like that. Oh, that's really nice. Fantastic, good, hang there. Just look to me for a couple as well. Just bring your head round too, so we don't get too much of the whites of the eyes. Awesome, and then back to where you were, I think we've kind of got this. Chin up just a little bit, a bit taller in your body. Good, nice job. Love that, perfect, we got it. Excellent, so that is look two, nice and casual, all done. Now for look three, we are going all out casual, completely different. So I think it's changed into some joggers and like a casual top. Uh, and we decided to change background this time as well. Now what I want to try and do is rather than this white background being completely white, I want to try and sort of play around with the distance between the light and Knut and also the light and the background so that we can make it go sort of an off-white, a kind of grey colour. Now what I want to do as well is change pose. I want to sit him down this time. So we've got to remember when we take our model down, we've got to take the lights down too. So if you want to just hit the deck, right? just get into position so let's think about this again so again I just want a little tilt on this to push the shadows down but most of all I want to be bringing this down towards you probably about there is good okay and the other thing that you'll notice as well is that I've introduced a black reflector over here sounds weird right but basically because this white wall would be acting as a huge bounce otherwise by putting the black side of it up what it's going to do is suck up the light and I, it allows me to get more shadow into his face so let's grab the camera so now I'm going to just mix this up a little bit actually I'm going to change I'm going to drop down to the aperture to about f4 just to mix it up give it a bit more depth this time so what we need, therefore need to do back onto TTL because we need to take the setting because we've changed aperture, changed modifier. We're back to our two by three softbox to give us a little bit more light control. So of course, I wanna come down onto your level. Actually, that's quite a good pose. People naturally pose themselves. Um, the only thing I wanna watch here is, can you just bend your elbow down a little bit? Yes, so it's not too big in frame. Um, I'm gonna take one straight on. Let's take a little light test to begin with. So, hold there for me. Okay, let's see what that did. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm just gonna take it down half a stop. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. Now, I'm just gonna be up in your body just a little bit. That's good. Excellent, well done. Actually, I kind of like, well, weirdly, I was sat at this angle before. Yeah, I, oh, I like that, don't move, don't move, don't move, perfect. 
Excellent, that is really good. Just look straight out for me as well, that'd be good. And then come, just actually where you were before is great. Come back to me. I love the head angle. Bring, drop that elbow down just a little bit. Reason being, I don't want it to look too big in camera. And of course, now I'm sat over here, that's what's nearest the camera, so it could look bigger. Good, I like that. Great, I love this shot. Really, really nice. Just lift your chin a little bit, because I'm just, that's perfect. I was just struggling to get the catch light in your eye, but I love that. Good, and perhaps what we'll do here, you keep the same position, but look out that way for me. I'm just gonna bring our light round a little bit more just to light the side of your face. Okay, let's do a couple more here. Just drop that elbow down just a little bit for me, babe. And then looking straight out this time, I'm gonna bring your head a little straighter too. That way, yep, perfect, good job. A little straighter still maybe, good. Nice, nice, nice. Back to me for one. Good, I, do you know what? <laughs> I love it, really nice, perfect. Okay, great, so that is look three, very casual, it's all done. So for look four, what I want to do is try and create something a little bit more moody, but I still want to use a really soft light. So the first thing you'll notice is that we've changed the outfit. So Knut has gone from a lighter top into a darker top and we've brought back the grey background. Now the other thing we're going to do is position the light from above to push the shadows downwards and yeah, just make it a little bit more moody. Now, as I said before, I want to try and create the light to make it nice and soft. So we're going to use a much bigger modifier this time. We're going to use an umbrella medium white with a diffusion panel. But I want to show you a quick trick because trying to attach a diffusion panel can sometimes be kind of difficult. So I'm just going to show you a quick trick of how to do it quickly. So take your panel, get your umbrella, but don't put it up. Next thing you want to do is put it inside the diffusion panel, then put it up and there you go. It's much quicker. So let's just rig this up because I want to try and get this boomed overhead of Knut, sit him down and get everything in the right position. Okay, so now the light is in position, I've got to think about Knut's posing a little bit because that's the other thing that we can do to mix these looks up. So uh, right now, I kind of like the position that you're in. It's nice and sort of casual, I like it. Um, it looks kind of natural too, but the only thing that I don't like about it is what he's got is kind of this sort of hunch in his back here. So I just want to make sure that we can kind of lift everything up a little bit because if you were to just sit up, it just, it doesn't look right. It just, there's something about it. It looks too contrived, it looks too forced. So what we can do is just add something in to raise his feet up. Um, I've got, there's just a, a light bag here. We've got a bag of B2s. So if I put that there, if you put this leg up on there, yeah, automatically that just looks so much better already. It looks so much more natural. So that just allows you, do you feel comfortable like this? Yeah. Yeah, good. It, it looks so much better. So perfect. So sometimes just raising the legs just helps people sort of position their arms and legs a little bit more naturally. So to complete this look, what we want to do is I want to drop down to f2.8. I'm going to drop the aperture now. Um, now because I've done that, of course, what I'm going to do is go back into TTL. It's going to raise the shutter speed just a little bit. And... Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, oh, in terms of light position. So this is actually the main center of the light is actually just the head of Knut. So really, can you sort of reach out and touch that sort of from where you are? So it's like an arm's length away. The middle of the light is about an arm's length away from him. So we're sort of feathering it and just using the edges. So, so yeah, straight up is the edge. Cool. All right, so let's take a quick test shot. So if you hang there, we're quite light, we're like this. I like this a lot actually. You just straighten your back just a little tiny bit, not too much. Okay, let's take a test shot in TTL. What did it give us? Nice, oh, I like this a lot. Brilliant, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna bring your head up just a little bit though, babe, good. Chin up just a little bit. Good, so you gotta be careful here. When you light from above like this, you still wanna make sure we just get a catch light in. Just bring the elbow towards the edge of the, sorry, towards your knee a little bit more. Yeah, brilliant. Just want to make sure your hands sort of aren't too connected. Good, really, really nice. Just tilt the head a little bit as well. And that's, yeah, well done. You know what you're doing. Fabulous. Okay, a couple more. Brill, excellent, lovely. I really, I really like these. Perfect. Okay, cool. So that is look four, done.
Okay, for our fifth and final look, we're gonna go for a moody actor headshot. I want this to be quite intense and I want it to be close up. So I've changed modifiers. We've gone for a silver beauty dish, but I'm gonna make some modifications to this. I'm gonna actually take the middle plate out to take it from a beauty dish into a little baby soft box instead. So let's do that first of all. Okay, so now that we've changed this over and we've got the diffusion panel on, we've got a baby soft box with silver interior, so still got a bit of punch. You'll also notice that we have our black flag back in again to suck up the light, stop it bouncing off that white wall. So let's jump back in. So we're gonna go back in here. We're gonna keep this at 2.8, which is where we were before, but back into TTL to take our little test shot. Now I wanna try and make sure I get some kind of Rembrandt light going on. If you can just come that way just a little bit, that's good. Now I just wanna change the light position just a little bit. Just angle this up, just there we go, good. So I wanna try and go for that look. Now, let's take a test shot in TTL, just so we know sort of roughly where we are. This might work, it might not. Let's take a little test. Okay, let's see. Yeah, good, it's done a great job, fantastic. Okay, great, so perfect as you are. Good, okay, yeah, nice and intense. I'm gonna be really close here. I'm using the eye autofocus here on my Sony because I'm shooting at 2.8 and it really helps just to make sure the eye is in focus. Cool, it's just, I'm gonna shoot one landscape actually, because I like this. Good, can I turn your shoulder a little bit more that way? And then chin towards me that way. I just wanna move that so it's not too much stealing attention. Good. Okay, good. Nice, nice and intense now, go, go, go. Good, chin down just a little bit. Oh, I like this, I like this a lot. Let's just double check this. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Really cool. Perfect. So that is our fifth and final look. Really strong, really moody. Might even be my favourite. But done. So that's it, guys. I hope that's been helpful for you. Just five different looks using background, using modifiers and using clothing choice and also light position just to get five different looks from using just one light. So I hope that's given you some inspiration and some ideas. So do let me know which one is your favourite. Leave us a comment below. But I hope that's been helpful and we will see you next time.